Sometimes you may want to reset your Citrix virtual app or desktop session yourself rather than calling the help desk. In this video, we'll guide users and admins on how to reset a Citrix session. For this Citrix workspace user, they have two launched sessions. One is a Windows 10 desktop and the other is a published Google Chrome browser. Now let's say the user wants to reset their Windows 10 virtual desktop session. One option to reset their session is to navigate to the ServiceNow service portal. First select Request Something and then click Reset a Session. The ITSM Adapter Service will search all active sessions and list them here. Here we have the two sessions that the user launched listed. The user can select the Windows 10 session and click Request to reset it. And as you can see, the Windows 10 session in the background has been terminated. We have also integrated the ITSM connector plugin with a ServiceNow virtual agent, which is another method you can use to reset a session. By chatting with the ServiceNow virtual agent, the user can type Citrix and choose Reset Citrix Sessions. The virtual agent will then search for active Citrix sessions. Now the virtual agent will ask if you want to reset your active session in this case, the open Google Chrome application. If the user selects yes, then the session will instantly be terminated, as you can see here. Sometimes, users may still need to call the help desk to reset a session. As a help desk administrator, you can log into the service portal to reset an end user session. As an admin, you can click Request Something in the service portal and select Reset a Session there are multiple conditions that you can use to identify the session to reset. For example, you can filter based on the user, delivery group, machine catalog, and more. Here, we'll input the user ID. Now, you see the user's two live sessions displayed, and as an admin, you can easily select what sessions need to be reset. For more information about this feature and configuration details, please visit our product documentation.